Hi everybody, welcome back to another character drawing show with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed as a famous Santa. You like that? The jingle changes every time. <laughs> um, okay. Hello, welcome back. We are once again drawing another character. If you are new to this show, we draw a new character every single week and usually they're sometimes they're a little bit more intricate sometimes they're a little bit more simple but today we are drawing one of the most I think simple characters we've ever done I think like like even a even more simple than when we did that Among Us guy way back when OG watchers you know you know what I'm talking about but today stay on track of you come on <laughs> we are going to be drawing our little bubble buddy. He is in our background here today. Um, if you're watching on TikTok, I don't know if he's like where I'm pointing, but okay. We are drawing bubble buddy. He is a character from SpongeBob. Um, I think he only shows up like once or twice in the show, but this is actually a suggestion to my good friend, one of our participants here at the center and basically my sister, Spencer Hart, shouts out to Spencer. Also, if you want to check out our little um, time lapse that we have on TikTok and Instagram, if you look at the little time lapse that we did to advertise it, she was our little uh, like secondhand artist in that video. But staying on track, we are going to be drawing Bubble Buddy today. Super simple character. I want all of you guys to be drawing him today, okay? I know you have a piece of paper around. I know you got a pencil, a pen, anything. You know what? We're getting crafty today. We're drawing. You don't have a choice. <laughs> no, you always have a choice. You don't have to. You could also just watch. But we are going to be drawing Bubble Buddy today. Super simple character, like I've said. Um, he's a character that SpongeBob blows up one day and he's just his friend for the day and takes him along kind of bamboozles mr krabs and gives him some fake bubble money great episode go check it out let's watch let's let's start drawing let's do it get a piece of paper pencil come on all right so well here is our bubble buddy we got a little bit of a see-through moment going on right here. I'm working on it. But, okay, so here is our character. He is very round, very bubbly. This is a great chance for all of you folks at home to be, you know, practicing um, how, like, a bubble looks, you know? You can see that there's these little shine marks that we have on Bubble Buddy that really just, like, make him look so much more round, so much more filled with air, you know? And most importantly, I think the main part of this drawing is the colors that you put into it. We can talk about that in a little bit. All righty. So we can get started. What we're going to start out with, I suggest, is finding shapes, obviously, like we're what we're familiar with, you know? We want to make sure that we're we're finding a shape that we're familiar with. So I've got right here a nice upside down U shape. So we're just going to take our piece of paper here and we are going to start with a nice long U. You can make it nice and round. I might make mine a little bit fatter. This is why we're using a pencil because, you know, sometimes you have to adjust your drawing as you go. So almost like, not to get all dark on all of you folks, but kind of looks like a little bit of a gravestone kind of shape here. And we are going to be taking this nice upside down U and kind of curving it around at the edges for some nice rounded feet. He's a bubble, so we're not going to have any pointed shapes here. We really are trying to keep it nice and round. And we're going to bring our legs up to the center here, getting slightly closer as we go up. Still keeping it nice and round, no straight lines. And we're going to give him a nice little tummy line right here. You can make his legs pretty stubby, I think. But we're going to go just like a nice, another curved line right under the belly. And then we can go on with the arms. Surprisingly enough, we are actually almost done. Actually, not surprising because this is a very simple character. <laughs> but we are going to make his arms um, like 
we can see that these arms are kind of an interesting shape. We could turn them a little bit more into an oval and close these circles and do some erasing later on. So right here. All right, so we are going to start right here in the corner and we're gonna start making this oval here. Just kind of overlapping these lines that we've already done. Just like this, making the top of like the hand area a little bit darker because that's the line we'll be keeping and bringing it in. And now we can erase some of these lines because we've got most of the shape that we need. So erasing some of these extra lines. And you know what, if drawing oval shapes are like a little bit tricky for you, uh, you could do the method that I do, you know, going back and forth with your pencil round and round and round until you find that perfect oval that you're looking for. I'm, what is that episode? Write in the comments below. Remember that episode where like SpongeBob draws like the perfect circle? Is it SpongeBob? He go, they go to like Squidward's painting class and he draws the perfect circle. Let me know, write in the comments if I'm right, if it's SpongeBob, because I, I love that episode. It's such a good one. Okay, so you can do what we did before by making another oval behind the arm, or you could just make a nice like little hook shape here and just have this other arm peeking out from behind. When we see one full arm like this and one half arm, it's a really great way to like kind of base the rest of the character off of because we could see that he's kind of like a little bit tilted not looking straight at us but um now he's just kind of a shape we got to make him look a little bit more bubbly and reflective okay and we're going to be doing that by adding this classic little balloon trick or bubble trick that a lot of people do by adding these little almost like little jelly bean like shapes so we're going to do one at the corner of his head here and another one right next to it. And you wanna really think, this is where like kind of like shadows come into play, where if you're thinking that if light is coming this way off of the right hand corner, that means that anywhere where that light would touch would be where the shine lies. So we're also gonna do another one here, right on the left, on the right hand. We can see that another little shine will be right here on the left shoulder as well. And you can add more or less if you'd like, totally up to you. But yeah, so that's our character today, actually. Super simple. You could see on my example here that one of the most important parts of this character are adding the colors into our character because because it's he's a bubble. Um, we really want to add these shades of colors that really make it look like it's reflecting the, the sky of Bikini Bottom. Because, you know, the sky, if you watch the show, has a lot of purples and blues. And I added even a little like cloud flower that they have in SpongeBob, just because we really want to show that like, he's reflecting off of the rest of the world around him. So... I also suggest, you know, adding a nice outline to the end because then you can just go in with your colors at the end, which is our, like the best part. But um, yeah, that's going to be our character today, our bubble buddy. I hope you friends had so much fun drawing bubble buddy today. I know it was kind of mellow. I thought we'd like take a little break after doing... Um, our turning red um, character last week, we went from like a very hyper realistic animation character to probably one of the most simple dudes we were probably gonna draw on this show. Um, but, you know, Spencer gave us this great, you know, suggestion and I need your suggestions. I feel like we've done like every single character known to man, but I, I know you can prove me wrong and, you know, let me know some characters that we haven't done. I'd love to start doing some like classic characters with you folks, maybe some newer ones that I haven't heard of. Um, but yeah, I, we haven't done any superheroes. You have a favorite superhero you want to draw? Let me know. Send me an email, aviva at edasnerfamilycenter.org, or just pop a little comment below. 
All right, I will see you guys next time around the same time, 4.30 Tuesdays. We go live. You can also rewatch this if you're only like hopping in now. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Stay crafty, okay? Bye, everybody. Ha, <laughs> ha,